This experiment um, concentrates on studying molecular water and we, we study the, the molecular structure and the dynamics of the water molecules under different conditions. So we start at ambient conditions and then we cool the liquid down rapidly to have it in a super cool state. This means that it's below its melting point, still in a liquid phase. And this also happens in nature, in this ambient, in clouds, in, in, at really high altitudes. We have droplets up to minus 30, 4 degrees Celsius. So we try to really push to the lowest temperatures around minus 45 degrees Celsius. Because their studies showed already that the properties of molecular water show a lot of anomalies. And they seem to be peaking at this temperature. So there seems to be some, some fluctuating behavior in the structure and it was supposed, proposed that water could have two structural motifs there. So there could be a phase transition between two liquids. And this moving and rearranging behavior we try to study in this experiment with X-rays and in a pump probe experiment on a, to assess really this picosecond time scale to see how the properties of water are different at warm and cold temperatures. The MID end station is the perfect instrument at XFEL to study the structure and dynamics of water because it, the measuring technique we are applying is that we are taking the photons, hitting the sample, and we are recording an image of the scattered photons on the sample. So the sample is a liquid water jet and the scattered photons, because we have a coherent source, are constructively or destructively interfering with each other. And this creates a speckle pattern. And this contains information about the, the instantaneous positions of the molecules in the sample. So this is like a single shot. And what we do now is we use a second X-ray pulse to look again. And the, the time delay between those two pulses determines how fast we can see if the molecules moved during this time delay. And so, as we said before, the time scale of the hydrogen bond rearrangement is on the scale of picoseconds. We need a source which is able to, to delay and deliver X-ray pulses in the picosecond range. And XFEL has like a pulse spacing of a few hundred nanoseconds, so this is a bit too long. But MID instrument has a special optical device which is able to split a single XFEL pulse into two, delay one a tiny bit and merge them again, put them on the sample and allow us to then really shoot with two pulses in the femtoseconds to few picoseconds range on the sample and correlate the images and by really dedicated analysis learn about how the molecules move and rearrange on this time scale. So admittedly our research of course focuses really on this basic properties of this molecular water and hydrogen bond network. But understanding this fully and on a, on a really molecular basis and also interactions with other molecules in the next step will help us, of course, to understand how water behaves in nature. And especially our research concentrates on the supercooled conditions which are also present in nature. Under these conditions, there are several things, but also a uniform picture of the molecular properties of water reaches out in almost every aspect of our life. So it's like the most used technical fluid and in chemistry. So all of these applications somehow do not always use this basic knowledge instantaneously, but understanding it deeply can reach out in like forming a view our new ideas how to use or create interactions with water.